Today I want to talk to y'all about X Max and this overwhelming concern that people have about X Max being the end all and be all for how loud so well can get. I don't even know if I talked about this before, but let me let me let you understand something about X Max and port. X Max is the amount of movement. That your subwoofer has and stays within the gap. A high X Max is good. I'm not gonna take nothing away from that. But when you, you have an X Max that's high and you're using a port enclosure, let's take away the importance of the X Max. Why? Because your port is gonna dictate how much X Max you're gonna use. Your port. Where you're tuned at. High X Max subs are used primarily for subwoofers in the sealed enclosure. Whether it's seal, first alignment, or a fourth order. It's good to have a high X Max sub there as well. Because the more sub can extend, the better it is at reproducing low frequencies in a sealed application. In a sealed box, you do want a high expense driver in a sealed application, whether it's sealed, box into the open environment, or a fourth order, because all your loads in a fourth order is coming from the sealed section, and they're magnified or amplified because they're playing into the ported section, which is ported to the outside environment. Okay, now. In a port application, X Mac is not really all that important. Because the closer you get toward tuning, the less your subwoofer is going to move. Let me say that again real slow. The closer you get toward tuning, the less your subwoofer is going to move. So you got a high X Max driver. I don't care who it is, who makes it. A company, A company, B company, C. You got your enclosure tone to 33 hertz. My favorite for hip hop. And the genre of music I listen to. Whether one subwoofer has a 19 X Max, another one has 16, and one has 23. If the enclosure is tuned to 33 hertz, subwoofer A, subwoofer B, and subwoofer C are not going to move when they get to 33 hertz. And that's going to be their loudest because they don't get the effect of the cone. And the hem host resonator of the port. And that's going to be the loudest that box can get on its own. So don't let X Max and people, oh, it's got a high X Max. What, what, what is it used for? It's good to sit application. And it's good if you want to do hair tricks. You want to keep playing below tuning. And see your silver, oh, you, you love that. Oh, man, look how it's moving. Yeah, it's moving, but it ain't creating no pressure. Unless you got a whole bunch of them. You can do a hair trick with one sub and you ain't creating no pressure. And you can do a hair trick and create pressure. But when you see the wolf is moving, woo, all like that, most of the times because it's playing below tuning. And that's what they're doing. They want to play below tuning and skirt move a lot of air. You get enough of them, you get a certain amount of you get a certain amount of loudness if you get enough of them. Which, once again, in my opinion, benefits the manufacturer. And his pocket sending his kid to school off your lack of knowledge. So, in closing, don't let X Max be the high end all be all. And don't let no one tell y'all, man, it's got a great X Max, so it's going to get louder. Most of you, most of you, particularly the street bangers on my channel, you're putting these subwoofers in ported applications. When you put them in a port application, it's not going to move that much when it gets toward tuning. And when it's not going to move at all when it gets right at tuning. And that's going to be your loudest point. That's going to be your loudest. So who cares about X Max? <laughs> For those of you who do, I know y'all hate that last video I put up there, didn't you? <laughs> Man, we out of here, man. Facts, not feelings.